A disturbingly calm 911 call from a dad reporting his baby's death played a key role in a court hearing today. A judge ruled there is enough evidence to put a Cedar Springs couple on trial for child abuse, first degree and felony murder in their daughter's death. 24 Hour News 8 Susan Samples was in the courtroom to hear that 911 call. Susan? Judge Sarah Smolinski called this case as horrific as it gets and noted what she described as the callousness of the dad's 911 call reporting the death, which the couple discovered after failing to check on their baby for 19 hours. One of the star witnesses against these parents today, the defendant dad himself, Seth Welch, may have gotten choked up listening to his 911 call in court, but he showed no emotion when he made it. How are you old enough? And that's another day, right? Now, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Welch said his wife, Tatiana Fusari Welch, tried to do CPR when they found 10-month-old Mary Welch dead in her crib in their Cedar Springs home. Welch told dispatchers he'd called an attorney but didn't call 911 for an hour and a half. He said, when you found her, she was already believed to be deceased, right? Yes. And then when you did consulted with a lawyer, yeah. do you believe she was beyond help already? Oh, yeah, it was, it was bad as a door. The medical examiner testified the baby died from malnutrition due to neglect and that it happened over a period of weeks to months. But the Welch's attorneys argued there's no evidence the parents did anything wrong intentionally, that there were empty baby food jars in the home and soiled diapers. In fact, there is testimony that both parents believed that their child was fine. The child was skinny, but not sickly. They were breastfeeding the child. These two young people are not nutritionists. They're not dietitians. And I want to reiterate the fact that this baby did not die because of one missed meal. This is weeks and weeks. This isn't about being very skinny. This is about being dead. A detective testified the baby's mom said she realized a few days before the baby's death that things weren't going well. The detective testified they didn't seek out a doctor in part because there was some fear of CPS involvement. The couple will stay in jail. Their bond was denied while they await trial. Back to you.